You're watching News Leader 9 with Cheryl Renee and meteorologist Greg Majeski. Let's go to Eufaula. Thanks to our Alpha Insurance Skycam at the Alabama Power Building. Temperature 85 degrees at this noon hour. And Greg Majeski joins us with a look at a forecast. Yeah, camera, they're looking all toward the east. A little mm -hmm. shower there over across the way, there across okay. the river. But uh, nothing too widespread just yet. And I don't think we're going to see a lot of that this week. Okay. Uh, we were hampered a little bit through the weekend because of mm -hmm. clouds. But uh, more sunshine expected today, Cheryl. As a result, things are going to be a little bit hotter outside. So get ready. You know, of course, it's still August. And we've still got another real month of real summer weather before things start to cool off. It looks like the rain chances will be around, but they'll be pretty much isolated for the week ahead, so nothing too widespread expected. And then rain chances may come up a little bit as we head into next weekend. We'll show you that on the seven day here in just a second. Right now on the radar, that little shower that was down there looks like it's starting to decay a little bit uh, down there to, near Georgetown. See it right there, moving out into Quitman, northern Quitman County right now. But other than that, that's all we have across the region. We may see an isolated shower or two for this afternoon, but nothing that's going to be too widespread. Temperatures you see out there, 87 up in LaGrange, 87 at Fort Benning, as well as into Eufaula. Elsewhere across the southeast, you see how things are warming up, 84 in Birmingham, 86 in Montgomery, and 87 degrees down into Tallahassee. As we take a look at the satellite radar composite, this is the stationary front along the coastal areas, and this is frontal boundary here that's actually steering our new hurricane. This is Hurricane Bertha straight to the north, going to keep it offshore. So you can almost think of this as a force field, kind of protecting the eastern seaboard. As we take a closer look on the storm system here, getting a little better organized, going over some very warm waters out here, just off toward the east of the Bahamas. And it'll continue to track off toward the north and eventually just kick on out to sea. Top winds right now, 80 miles per hour, moving north at 17. You can see the track there, going to take it right up to the northern Atlantic, and then it'll become an extra tropical low with winds up to 65 as it passes by Newfoundland. But uh, otherwise, looking pretty good for the east coast, just otherwise maybe some root currents kicking up there, especially for the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Futurecast kicking this into motion for you again. Anything that forms today will be isolated, and that'll, same, that'll be true for tomorrow as well as into Wednesday, although the model is indicating maybe a little bit better coverage in here on Wednesday. We'll watch that closely, but for the most part, going to keep the rain chance at about 20 to 30 percent for most of the week ahead with no real big widespread chances of rain. Yesterday's high was 86. It's going to be much warmer today as we're seeing more sunshine. 92 degrees in LaGrange, 89 in Lafayette. Further south, looking like this, we're 90 degrees at Auburn, 91 in Columbus, and 91 in Pittsview. And for our southern zones you follow, you're looking at 91, 90 in Dawson, and 91 degrees down in Albany. Next seven days, shaving up like this, as we'll see temperatures here holding in the lower to mid-90s, with only a 20% chance of an afternoon shower or thunderstorm. Overnight lows remain in the lower 70s, and as we head toward the weekend, now the temperatures back off a little bit, but they do that because the rain chances come back up. Right now, looking at a 50-50 chance of rain for the weekend, although right now, not expecting a washout. All right, that's good news. Okay. Thank you so much, Greg. The U.S. Marine jailed in Mexico.